Amazing, difficult, good, bad, calm, quiet, boring. Are you tired of using the same old words in English? Well, get ready to level up your vocabulary. In this video, we're going to learn some exciting alternatives to common English adjectives. Hello, my name is Maddie and welcome to POC English. Let's start with the first adjective, amazing. Well, it is not bad to say amazing. In fact, it's very common and it sounds very natural. What an amazing day. It was an amazing shot. That's an amazing book. But to level up your vocabulary, it is good to learn some synonyms. Now, instead of amazing, what else can you say? You can say astonishing. Astonishing. Which means something that causes great surprise. And you would go, <gasps> Astonishing. The magician's trick was astonishing. You can also say phenomenal. Phenomenal, which means exceeding expectations. More than what you expected. It was phenomenal. The success of our new product was phenomenal. We sold more than we expected. And finally, you can also say splendid. Splendid, which means very impressive. For example, the view from my window is splendid. No, it's not. But I like the train. Okay, enough with amazing. Let's go to the next adjective. <sighs> boring. Instead of boring, what else can I say? I can use tedious. Tedious. Now, tedious means boring because of being long or being repetitive. That means you have to do the same task again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And again. It's very tedious. For example, entering numbers in an Excel file is a very tedious job. I cannot do it. Kind of similar to tedious, you can say monotonous. Monotonous. Also listen to the pronunciation, monotonous. It basically means tedious. Essentially, something that does not have ups and downs. It's monotonous, boring. You can also use drab, drab. Now drab is something that is boring in appearance. When you look at it, it looks boring. For example, some people say gray hoodies are drab. They're boring because it's gray. It's not yellow or red or green. But I like them. What do you think? The next common adjective is difficult. Difficult. Now, is it bad to use difficult over and over again? No. But if you want to level up your English vocabulary and add a bit of variety, so that when you speak, it doesn't sound monotonous, you need to learn some alternatives. Did you see how I use monotonous, the new word we learned today? All right, let's see what alternatives we have for the word difficult. You can use challenging, challenging, something that challenges you, something that tests your abilities. The crossword puzzle was challenging. Next is arduous, arduous. This is an advanced adjective. It means difficult, something that needs a lot of effort and energy that's arduous. For example, climbing a mountain is arduous. And the next one, again, a very advanced adjective, laborious, laborious, laborious. Something that is laborious needs a lot of effort and a lot of time. For example, completing the report was a laborious task. It was laborious. It needed a lot of effort and a lot of time. Next adjective we're going to talk about is good. Now, this adjective is overused all the time. Good, 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 good weather, good person, good train is passing by, good room, good teacher. And it's okay. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to say good, to express a positive feeling. But let's learn some new alternatives. How about that? To spice it up a little bit, you can say terrific. Terrific. It basically means very good. The party was a terrific success. Everybody had fun. It was a terrific success. Everybody had fun. You can say excellent. She received an excellent grade on her exam. Or you can use superb. Superb. The chef prepared a superb meal. It was so good. Number five is calm. Calm. Lesson up. There is a silent letter in this word, calm. Which one is it? L. Don't say calm. No, calm, calm. Instead of calm, you can say serene, serene. 
which means peaceful and calm, serene. She has a lovely, serene face. It means she has a very calm, very peaceful face, serene. You can also use the adjective placid, placid, which means having a calm appearance and characteristic. For example, he is a very placid child. He sleeps all night and hardly ever cries. He's very placid, very calm. You can also use the adjective composed. Composed. It means calm and in control of your emotions. Composed. For example, she was remarkably composed during the funeral. She was remarkably composed. It means she was in control of her emotions. So far, we've talked about five adjectives, and for each adjective, we've used some synonyms. Now, look at this paragraph and let's read this together. The view from the top of the mountain was amazing. However, the hike to reach that point was anything but boring. The terrain was incredibly difficult to navigate, with steep inclines and rocky paths. Despite the challenges, the experience was unexpectedly good. As you can see, in this small paragraph, we have four of the adjectives we talked about. Amazing, boring, difficult, and good. Do you want to level up this paragraph a little bit? Let's do it in three, two, one. As you can see, the only things I changed were the four adjectives. And I used some synonyms in order to level it up a bit the view from the top of the mountain was astonishing. The hike to reach that point was anything but tedious. The terrain was incredibly challenging to navigate. The experience was unexpectedly terrific. As you can see, this paragraph has more feelings to it. It doesn't sound boring. There is an energy inside this paragraph that when you read this, you kind of feel it. That is my whole point. It's okay to use simple adjectives, but if you use some other alternatives, let's continue the lesson. The next adjective is quiet. Quiet. What else can I use instead of quiet? I can use one very interesting adjective. Tranquil. Tranquil. Listen to the pronunciation. Tranquil. Tranquil. Tranquil means peaceful and calm, without noise. Tranquil. For example, the hotel was in a tranquil area. It was in a tranquil area. It was very quiet, calm, and peaceful. Tranquil. Next adjective is funny. Funny. You can say somebody is funny, a movie was funny, or something is funny. But instead of funny, what else can you say? If something is really funny, you can say hilarious. Huh. Hilarious. Very funny. His jokes were hilarious last night. We were rolling with laughter. His jokes were hilarious. Very funny. You can say amusing. Amusing, which basically means something that amuses you. The children found the clown very amusing. You can also say comical. Comical, which means funny, but in a strange and silly way. Comical. He looked so comical in that hat. <laughs> He looked so comical. Next adjective is fast. Fast. Instead of fast, you can say speedy. Speedy comes from the word speed. Speedy. Recently, I bought something from an online shop and they delivered in two days. I loved the speedy delivery. You can also use the adjective rapid. Rapid. The 1990s were a period of rapid growth very fast growth. Or you can use the adjective quick. Quick. She made a quick decision. She made a quick decision. Fast. Without thinking. Quick. Next adjective is easy. Easy. Now, instead of easy, what else can we say? You can use the adjective straightforward. Straightforward. Which means simple. Easy to understand. Straightforward. For example, the instructions for assembling the furniture were straightforward. It means they were easy to follow. You can also use the adjective effortless. Effortless. If something is effortless, for example, a task is effortless, 
It does not require much mental or physical effort. For example, with her years of experience, the task seemed effortless. It seemed too easy because she was experienced. You can also use the simple adjective simple, which means not complicated, not difficult, easy, simple. The recipe was simple. The recipe was simple. It was easy to follow. And the last adjective of today. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. And now for the 10th adjective, beautiful, like you, beautiful. Instead of beautiful, what else can you say? You can say gorgeous, gorgeous. It basically means very beautiful. Last night at the party, Jessica was wearing a gorgeous dress. You can also use the adjective stunning, stunning. It means extremely attractive. The view from the mountaintop was stunning. It was very attractive. It was stunning. And finally, you can use the adjective exquisite, exquisite. If somebody or something is exquisite, they are very beautiful and delicate. For example, the jewelry was exquisite. Or look at this exquisite poster. Exquisite, very beautiful. And now to end this lesson, I'm going to read a short paragraph for you. The countryside was serene and placid with only occasional sound of rustling leaves breaking the tranquil silence. Suddenly, a burst of laughter shattered the peaceful atmosphere as my friend told an amusing joke. We decided to go for a drive and the journey was surprisingly rapid. The roads were clear, making the trip feel effortless. Along the way, we passed by fields of gorgeous flowers, their vibrant colors adding to the already astonishing scenery. That was a dramatic reading of this paragraph with some of the adjectives that we learned in this lesson. 